Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Goblins 2. Last time, we got the uh, Prince Buffoon out of the castle, but uh, he's being a bit of a problem. First he got himself stuck in a tree, and we had a hard time getting him down, and then he ate a mushroom, and we had to end up back here. So we need to get him down from there. Oh well, let's uh, see, we're playing as uh, Winkle right now. And we want to do this thing again. Alright, get past there. Alright. So let's see, we uh, did that. I'm trying to like remember what I was doing when I ended off, because I sort of I don't like to end off in the middle of a scene, but kind of uh, was running out of time. Okay. I believe I need uh, you to stand here. Oh, jeez. Okay. That uh, didn't work. I'll have to restore. Huh. Okay, I'm an idiot. Okay. I wasn't meant to stand here. There's a little something I missed. Yuppie. I want to stand here. I was trying to do this before, but uh, didn't really... There we go. Oh. Now you do that. There we go. That worked out just nice. Okay. So, uh, now we are up here. So we can't interact with the buffoon. It looks like he's, uh, in a bubble, since everything's kind of frozen. It looks like a bubble was blown here. Oh, not you. Now let's see what happens if, uh, Fingus tries to walk past this thing. Ouch. <laughs> Oh, well, he can get past it, at least. But, uh, we don't need him to. For now. Oh, that's... Interesting. Let's see, and I want you... To go here, because he's gonna... Oh. What? You won't go back? Really? Really, you won't go back? I need you back there. Why did you... Oh. Let me uh, go through this again. What the... Okay, okay, let's try this again. You sit on that thing. And you... Oh, dang, it's too late. Okay. Oh, crap. Really? Alright, this is attempt number three, and I suggest you save once you get up here, because it's a bit of a process, uh... Ah, oh, too well. Uh... Yeah, it's a bit of a process to get back up, but we need to have this pop up just as he is landing on it with the bubble. Son of a gun. Okay, there's the timing on that. Okay. Yeah, it took me a few tries, but I got it. And we get a safety pin for our troubles. And uh, we actually need to get back down now. 
because we need another bowling ball again. Okay. So you use the Skittles. Wait for it. And we get another bowling ball. And uh, yeah, we have to do uh, this whole process again. Great. Seesaw. Yeah, this thing has pretty cool puzzles, but I hate when it makes you like repeat <laughs> things like this. Use the flagstone. And we're back up here. Now let me save the game. Okay, now I want to have uh, Fingus go over to this side. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So stand here. And you stand on this one. And now we're both up. So I guess that's how you get him over back over to this side, I guess. Or you just have to like kinda climb back down again. Alright. So, um Let's have you stand over here. And you Oh, let's uh let's see what this thing does. There's a little switch above the buffoon here. Oh, and it makes him go down into a bubble. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, I think I see. You have to uh, get this guy to uh, blow the bubble just as the... Uh... Okay, that didn't quite work out. I guess we... Uh... Let's try that again. So just wait for a second. Now press it. Why didn't you press it? I was clicking on it. No. Oh, come on, dude. Seriously, dude. You do that. You. Press on the feeler. And it looks like we have him back. Or not. Okay, so we need to uh, pop it before he gets back in there. So you press this, you press that, you get the safety pin out, and use it there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh. Too late. Okay, so we need him walking over there before we can do anything. Yeah, okay, so you. Not inventory. Press the switch. You. Press the feeler. You start walking over here. Get the safety pin out. Use it on the bubble. Oh, we got him back. That was a process, and that wakes us up. So we have the buffoon back in our party. Hopefully he won't cause us any more trouble. Hmm. Alright. So let's uh, control the buffoon. We want him right here. He's a cute little guy, but he's danged annoying. Okay. Oh. I guess I moved there. Alright, so let's see, I actually want you on top of the catapult. There we go. You Yippee. press this switch. And get a control of fingers. Oh, oh. 
obviously. And he's gone again. Uh, well, we have the key. Oh, no, he has the key. Oh. Oh, great. So we need to go find him. This guy. <laughs> Seriously. Okay, that one wasn't really his fault, but still. Oh, hello? It's an interesting looking guy with the holes in his body. I guess body modification has really, uh, come a long way in this world. Hmm. Let's see. Let's pick this thing up. And you... Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, let's get you by here, because uh, he doesn't put it in the inventory. He just kind of lifts it up above his head. And I guess, uh, fingers has to be in just the right position. Okay, and that just gets it up there. So let's, uh, do that again. You get up here. You... Pick up the stone. Oh, no! Oh, really? Ugh. I'll get to you when I have it up there. Okay, you get the stone. Control, uh, fingers. And put it there. There we go. Alright. Now let's see. What about this line? What can we do with him? Hello? We can stand on his head. Doesn't seem to be doing much for us. But, uh, what if we were to use the stone from all the way up here? Oh! <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hope you're all right. It was for the greater good. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's all we needed to do. And, uh, we need to do this whole thing again. I think, uh, if we put it here, we'll actually land somewhere different, so... Let's just get, uh, everyone into position. Nope, get the stone. Alright. You stand on the lion's head again. And you... Use the stone, if I can click it, there we go. And let's see what happens. Not quite as high. Hmm. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was funny. serious. We have to have Winkle on top of the head while that happens. Okay, let me get back to that. Okay, got it back to where it was and saved to make sure so I don't have to go through all that again. You stand there. You use the head. Okay, and that gets us in position. Very good. Okay. Now, uh, what am I doing here next? Um. 
This is not what I wanted to do. I need to, uh... I need to restore. Okay. Alright, I actually did things wrong here. Uh, we actually want Winkle here. And we want uh, Fingus to lift the stone. I didn't even think he was able to, but he can apparently. Because everything goes fine until a certain point, and uh, I'll show you what that is. So you go stand on the lion's head. And you use this head. And everything should be fine, now I'm going to save again, just in case. Now what you're supposed to do, is you can only do this as fingers. If you do this as Winkle, this island will just move out of the way and you'll fall. But if you do it as... Uh, or if you do that with Winkle, it'll fall, but if you do it as Fingus... Okay, so, uh... You do that again. And then you need to, uh, get on it when it's down there. And there we go. Alright, um... Okay, we need to be a lot quicker there. By the way, I just realized this is the bird that we uh, set free from the castle. That's pretty awesome. Alright, you do that. And uh, let's set this bird free. Oh, come on! Okay, let's have you stand on the very, very... No... Okay, stand on the edge like that. You use the rock, switch... Okay. Oh, we did it. I don't know why I want you. Uh, talk to the cage. Oh. Okay. Birds? Have you taken all the food? These are Brits. Hello? Sorry, but you must help us recover our freedom. We already uh, got you mostly free. Because we have to finish the job, not the safety pin, the file. Okay, and we got the key and our buffoon back. So let us now go back. And use the key on the door. And... As the goblins return triumphantly to the village, they notice that the buffoon looks strange. You're just now noticing this. This child is possessed. I'll take him to my laboratory. We must make him drink the water of my fountain. Get some and come right back. Oh, look at that kid. Well, we have him back in town. We just need to cure him of whatever's got a hold of him. But can we do so and finally return him into the prince he once was? You'll have to find out on the finale of Let's Play Goblins. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.